sugar palm is a common name for several species of palms used to produce sugar. Sugar palm tree can be found in tropical rainforests of Southeast Asian countries like in Indonesia and Malaysia. In Malaysia, it is known as Nau and in Indonesia, it is known as Ijuk. This tree consists of fibers with a good material properties. The fiber from this tree can be obtained from its trunk, frond, and fruit punch. Its traditional application includes brushes, septic tank based filter, clear water filter, doormat, carpet, sofa cushion, and for fish nests to hatch its eggs. The fourth industrial revolution is expected to change how we live work and communicate. It is also likely to change the things we value and the way we value them in the future. Presently, we can already see changing business models and employment trends. The benefits of anal fiber is underexposed. Demand for anal fiber for conventional consumer products is decreasing. In parallel with the current technology of additive manufacturing, the flexibility of fuse deposition modeling has increased the potential of biocomposites application. Moreover, plastic waste from fuse deposition modeling should be reduced. Ada setahu saya pokok dia tu ijuk dia tu, ijuk dia tu tahan. Boleh gunakan untuk macam-macam lah, fiber apa semua boleh buat lah dia punya ijuk tu. Dan lain-lain lah, gunaan dia punya ijuk tu banyak gunaan dia dan dan batang dia pun sagu ada sagu dalam tu dan hijau tu pun boleh buat penyapu ha, tapi setakat ni ha, tak ada lagi yang nak buat nak usahakan produk-produk untuk buat macam tu kan setakat ni asal komersial setakat ni gula je and now fiber were washed using a tap water to remove dust and impurities then dried for three days at atmosphere pressure and room temperature the anal fiber was treated using combined alkaline and saline treatments during the alkaline treatment the anal particles were immersed in a six percent natrium hydroxide solution with distilled water for three hours at room temperature during the saline treatment the anal particles were immersed in a 2% saline solution for 3 hours. Then, the anal fiber were crushed and sieved using a sieving machine to obtain the particle anal fiber size between 125 to 215 micrometer and weighted for 2.5% fiber loading. Next, the treated anal fibers and the PLA granules were prepared for the extrusion process. Many researchers have developed natural fiber reinforced polymer composites such as wood composites, rice straw composites, bamboo composites, and flax composites. However, there is no study had found in development of anal fiber composite filament for fuse deposition modeling. Therefore, through this project, anal fiber reinforced PLA composite filament of fuse deposition modeling was developed and has a great potential to be commercialized. Fiber reinforced or filled PLA composite filament is usually tend to be brittle and the fiber agglomeration at the nozzle of FDM machine is often occurred. But this is not happened to our anal polyla. The anal polyla is printable and exhibit good printing properties according to the particular printing process parameter. Dimensional accuracy is vital in any manufacturing process as it is an indication of how close a basic dimension of fabricated parts with the dimension of the ideal product. Based on the results of 3D printed and now polyla part, the errors are less than 5% and not significantly affected the geometry and accuracy of the design. 
our society, uh, Satuan Pembangunan Industri Now Malaysia, always we are striving for to highlight the use of uh, sugar palm or now uh, and to you know develop the latest technology and also latest research uh, finding. And we are working with the uh, you know research institution, the universities in and in, in in Malaysia, even in from overseas. You know we believe that uh, these magnificent trees them would bring a huge contribution to to Malaysia to our nation. So you know there's a lot of potential you know in terms of research development even the product commercialization. Application of natural fiber like a now fiber will lead to sustainable production that positively improve the quality of life, boost competitiveness and lower economic, environmental and social costs. Local fibers like the now fibers are planted in rural areas by the small growers and their application is limited due to the community's lack of awareness about the potential as a great fiber. Hence, this project could educate and convince the community about the potential of enough fiber and big agricultural estates growing the plants could be developed. This project also could help more in community development economically.